Well, it is Earth Day today, and in an effort to clean the Alawai Canal, a local agency is presenting a project to restore aquatic life. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Alawai Canal with more. Hey, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Kelly, and that's right. Happy Earth Day to everyone at home. And you know what? Considering it is Earth Day, I am really excited to present this local agency whose mission is to restore the Alawai Canal. Now, it's a stigma that is in the area that everyone has an, an opinion about, but I think at the end of the day, we want the same goal to restore the aquatic life here at the Alawai Canal. And here to explain a little bit more, we got Hiro Nago with the Genki Alawai Project. Thanks so much for joining us here on Take Two. Good morning. Dallas and happy Earth Day, everyone. So we met over the weekend, and you just had an amazing, an amazing project, which really kind of gave insight to a lot of people when it comes to the Alawai Canal, and that is restoring the Alawai Canal. Now, I think to understand how to fix a problem, we have to understand where the Alawai Canal came from. So, what's the background story of the Alawai Canal first? Right. So again. Uh, it's part of our team effort. It's not only myself, but right. it's for the whole Alawai watershed, not only the canal. Okay. So the canal was made basically as a catchment for all the debris coming down the three main streams, Palolo Stream, Makiki Stream, and the other stream. Yep. Right. So catches all the waste, the detritus, the silt, branches, a lot of things that's coming down the Alawai watershed. And of course, years and years of accumulation will yeah. uh, create a dead zone in a lot of places. So you have a lot of putrefaction, which is de degrading organic matter. Mm -hmm. And then now, the last time they dredged was, I believe, 2002, 2003. Yeah. So if you look at the Alawai today, there's a lot of branches, a lot of places that's only a few inches above water. Yeah. So they're planning to dredge uh, next year at 2020 mm -hmm. at a cost, I believe, about $10 million. And the Alawai Canal was built in the 1920s, so it's really reaching its 100 mark. So a lot has really built up in the canal, but we've actually found a way to possibly fix this. And it is effective microorganisms along with other things. So you have this chart right here. Go ahead and explain quickly in what this project is all about. Right. So we're the Genki Alawai project team and we're using basically EM or effective microorganism in the form of this soil mud ball and what microbes do is once they go down and feed off on the dead organic matter they help restore life and once they start degrading all the source point of all this pollution now you have phytoplankton zooplankton and all the other beneficial microorganisms starting to proliferate and that will naturally bring the clams, fishes, all the aquatic life back to the ecosystem. And this has already been done in different parts of the world, right? Correct. We've been about 100 countries around the world, so mm -hmm. places like in Japan, uh, they use quite a bit to use this, especially the Osaka Fishermen Co-op mm -hmm. did it on their own, using their own money, went up to the source point of pollution, which is Dotonburi River, Yodogawa River, and again, it's a collaborative effort with the community, mm -hmm. students, children, actually making these Genki balls and throwing it into the polluted waterways. And that's what I kind of liked about the Genki Alawai project is that it has a mix of different club members. Like you said, students, teachers, uh, you know, local activists, really trying to have the same goal with all different perspectives. Now, if you take a look at this map right here, you can already see that these are the different areas and regions in Japan where the Genki balls have been used to restore aquatic life. Now, in the next half hour, we're going to get more into the Genki balls and how they're made and also our goal in cleaning the Alawai Canal. So don't go anywhere anyone this is a pretty important segment considering it is earth day and it's come up next on take two singing back to you kelly and christine with more thanks so much dallas well coming up next on take two we'll tell you about a brewery that is gonna pay you to drink beer we'll also check in with social